The expected merger between Digi and Cellcom, two of Malaysia's largest telecommunications providers, may have already sparked a sense of job insecurity among their employees, says a human resource expert. HR consultant Sridharan Krishnan said this is inevitable given the need for rationalization and that the acquirer of the companies will likely engage in the proverbial trimming of the fat exercise. While Cellcom had announced in April that it would retain all employees once the merger is completed, the fear of layoffs continues to linger. Sridharan said that in any merger, priority is usually given to the acquiring company if it is a takeover. However, he said there could be instances when there is a provision in the merger or acquisition agreement that both companies will not retrench, transfer or downgrade employees, as well as remove perks that they are entitled to within the first year after the merger. Nonetheless, Sridharan said, while the merged entity may introduce activities to help bring about a sense of job security, this did not mean that they would stop looking for scapegoats or conduct fault-finding activities by auditing the performance of some workers. He said this will enable both companies to weed out those who are deemed undesirable.